This is the wither storm and this is me, a loaf of bread. Well, I'm gonna spend the next 100 Minecraft days, which is 33 hours in real life, trying to play the game normally while a literal shitstorm brews behind me, ripping the entire world apart. Day one was peaceful. Cows were moving, the villagers were villaging and all around, it was just an ordinary day. Oh, okay. That, okay, I'm losing health. What the hell? That was a bit of a jump scare, eh? We have no food, no sword, no, no nothing. All we can do is just run. I spend the rest of the day trying to get as far away as possible from that wretched creature and constantly checking my back for the weird floating heads he keeps throwing at me. I gathered all the resources I could. Would a wooden sword be enough to take him down to prepare for what was coming because I did not know what was coming. I'm not gonna lie though, he is kind of, he's kind of looking a bit thick right now, you know, you got a little voluptuous lumps, you know. Got me feeling a certain kind of way. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna leave him a message for when he crosses this path. <laughs> you little shit. Doo doo. Loser noob. Get wrecked. Stupid rock. All right. There we go. Time to get running again. After literal hours of running in the same direction. I ran into some broken ruins that'll come incredibly handy later because the only way to escape them is to enter the nether to create the formidable bomb. The bomb. First, we need an enchanted command block book that you can get by beating up the crackhead's little errand boy, the wither symbiote. And he is a sight for sore eyes. Jeez. After obtaining the book, we can use it with TNT to create the super TNT. This super Super TNT along with gun and blaze powder creates the formidable bum bum. Also, I'm guessing he didn't take that message too kindly because after day five, this happened. How the hell did you get so freaking big? I'm sorry, what? It also looked like he's approaching really fast towards me. Like, really fast. Oh, sh jeez. Oh my god. Swim! Swim, good man! Swim! I can't lose right now. Okay, let's go down. We're digging. We're oh, you little shit. Can you? Okay. No. No, 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 no. Why is, why is it going dark? Okay, 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 okay. We're drowning. He's drowning us. Oh! Hi! <laughs> okay, run. One time. Oh, bye, Spidey. Woo! All right. Found a little cave where I think I'm safe for just just a little bit. Hi, welcome, welcome to my little. Oh, it's water, it's water. Um, how do I get out? How do I get out? How do you? Okay, let's just breathe. Let's just breathe. How the hell do I get up? All right, we found ourselves in a beautiful cave. Look at that, we've got gold. Oh. Nope. You can't mine gold with a stone pickaxe. Oh wait, can he can he beam me up from? Oh. Oh no 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 no. Am I out? Am I out of it? I'm out of it. I don't think he can beam us out of out of here. All right, let's beautify the place. Let's uh. Ooh, I can get a little item holder, item frame. Okay. Put that on the wall. Put a little. Oh, I've got a fireball for that. There we go. Now, time to label the art. Balls. And that is a conclusion to my house tour. Now, somebody help me. It's day 10 now, and we pretty much spent a couple days on the ground. And I can hear a lot of blocks being picked up, so it's only a matter of time before he finds us. So we're gonna have to flank him. All right, let's just make a run for it. The only plus side right now is that even the freaking mobs are not attacking me because they're just equally as scared as me. You little shit. After a couple hours of just, just running, I finally saw it. A big, beautiful village in the distance. No, no way that's real. Woo, let's go baby. Yeah. Did I just eat poisonous potatoes? Why am I eating poisonous potatoes? Mm, okay. Hi, buddy. Hey, hi. I know you're sleeping, but get out. Do you see what's happening out there, my friend? Because, uh, you know, I named this villager Benito and swore to protect him for offering me cover in his humble abode until suddenly. Well, who's that? Is that your missus? You guys wanna... Uh, I get it, I get it, Benito, you dirty dog. Okay, I'll just leave it to you then, hey. Don't sleep in too long, cause there's still a giant wither storm wiping out all things in a three mile radius. Things were starting to look up for me. The wither storm was uh, kind of far away, but then 
I noticed something odd. Hmm. Oh, my heart's gone bad. No. You little shit. Yep. I got infected. This means every 9 minutes one of our hearts will permanently disappear, weakening us over time until there's nothing left. So with that in mind, we have absolutely zero time to waste. I rushed back to the village to look for Benito, but it was too late. Alright, I don't I don't think Benito is dead. I feel like he ran away because I saw a couple villagers going in the same direction. Hopefully he's fully clothed when we see him again. <laughs> That dirty dog. I ran as fast as I could, but with his size, it didn't buy me too much time. Just before I left the village, I took some of their furnaces, so let's make some iron tools, get some diamonds, use those diamonds to break obsidian, and use that to get the heck out of here. So after a bunch of mining and journeying through the caves... Wait. Wait a second. No. Is this the freaking stronghold? Did I just find the... Str <laughs> this takes me... Freaking literal days to find in a normal game. And I just find it by mistake? Oh, okay, I found the end portal as well. That's fantastic. Wow, we finally have enough diamonds to make our first pickaxe. All right, gonna throw some water on there. And there we go. Obsidian, baby. At this point, the wither storm had caught up to us, so time was of the essence. So I put down a bed for respawn, protected it with my wooden blocks, and got to mining. Yeah, um... This might take a little time. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious, how many diamonds are under here? It, it doesn't stop! What?! Alright, we finally have enough obsidian. It's nether time. Shit. Well, here we are in the nether. But our journey is far from over, because while we searched for a nether fortress, the wither on the other side grew a whole lot bigger. Oh jeez, this wither sickness is really taking its toll right now. I don't know if it's gonna be possible to continue with this. Luckily though, as I chomp on some of these golden apples, it keeps adding back black hearts to me, which will keep depleting, but I can still keep topping them off. This is not gonna be fun. He's right! It wasn't! And after an hour of roaming the nether, I finally found a big, beautiful fortress! Let's go! More golden apples. Okay. Pretty freaking good. Alright. Where did I leave my pearl? This might be a problem. Yep, I lost the pearl. So that was another couple days down the drain. Just searching for the stupid thing. I think this is the patch of my portal. Let's go. Go! I finally found it. I am I'm not too excited for what's on the other side though. Hey! Who are you? Yeah, so remember the wither symbiote we were talking about earlier? Yep, he's up there now. And he doesn't look too happy. Throwing away everything I didn't need and equipping all the golden apples I had. It was finally time to find the enchanted command block. Book. Command block book. Hi, buddy. Oh! Oh jeez, shield, shield. Oh, I forgot I had a shield. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, 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 come on, come on. Oh, two shots, two shots. Got two shots in. Oh, he sees me. Yep, yep, this is not good. Ah, how's he doing that? How's he hitting me still? Okay, he spawned in mobs. That's not good. Mm, come on! What the hell is that? What the hell is that gum? Is he throwing gum at me? We are really lucky that he's stuck in a freaking little pool of water. We are so freaking lucky. No, my shield's over! No, my shield's over! No, 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 I got it. I got it. Alright, I left a torch exactly where my base is, so I think I can take the pool right down. We can get crafting on the freaking super TNT. We did it. We got the command book. I, I couldn't believe it. I hurried on down to my underground base to craft the Formida Bomb. This was my chance. It's been such a long time. Such a long time coming. I swam my way back up. Built as high as I possibly could with the blocks from the nether and placed it down. But then, the unimaginable happened. If we gotta get as far away as possible, let's go! Uh oh! That's not good. Uh, where's my ball? There's my ball, okay. Alright. Um... Okay, hi buddy! <laughs> no! This is not happening right now. This is, this is not happening right now. No! 
perfect. Beautiful. Oh, oh, the perfect landing. The perfect landing. Everything was in place. Now all that's left to do is to run a clear distance away and wait for the final countdown. Is it over? It, it, it looks like he's done. Ew! Flesh? That's... Ah! Let's put that back down. I guess it's all over. Mm, this was such a long day. Oh, now we're finally at the end of it. Guess there's only one thing left to do. Break the command block. Boom. Wait. Break this. What in the? There's three of them. Yep, I fell asleep, and honestly, didn't feel any motivation to continue the video at all. Heck, my screen is still frozen on the time of death. Even though there's only a couple of days left, what was the point? I barely beat one of them. How am I gonna kill three? I returned to my desk completely ready to give up. But then, I saw him. Benito Buddy! What the hell? You're alive! Oh my god. And you're fully clothed. Wow. You freaking dirty dog. I swore to protect Benito all that time back when he provided me shelter and a perverted display of affection. Once Benito was taken care of, our next plan of action will require us to find that ugly son of a gun, the Wither Symbiote, and take him down for a second time. Jeez. Hi, buddy. I see you're a bit stuck there, eh? Come on. Oh. Let's go. Let's go! We freaking got him again! Now that we have the command block book again, it's time to combine that with my sword to create the enchanted command block sword. This is the only sword that can damage the wither at this stage. With this equipped, I whipped out the ender balls I got from the stronghold and it was time to ascend to the final stage. Jeez, this place is creepy and definitely, definitely isn't a place for a bakery item to be roaming around. Alright, there it is. The command block. Well, here we go again. Whack. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, not again, dude. To get to the command block, we had to fight waves of withered mobs. Our old friend, the withered symbiote, also showed up, trying to throw his little, his little cum balls at me. But after killing two of the wither storm's heads inside, we finally got to the command block. We're at the top. Okay. It's time to go freaking ham on this shit, okay? Woo! Um, okay. Yep, we gotta jump. It's finally over. The wither is dead. Unless... No, I, th I, th I think he's... I think he's gone for good now. It was finally time to reunite with Benito. But when I got down there... Benito, buddy! The wither is... Dead. The walls are still up, there's no damage to any of it, that how no one could have gotten in, no one could have gotten out. Benito was gone. After everything we'd been through, he just disap- Oh! Oh. Never mind. I don't know how Benito resurrected himself yet again, but I gotta say, it's pretty wholesome. Alright buddy, I kicked a villager out of his home to present to you your new home! And there's another surprise. May I present to you? Mrs. Benito! Aw, oh, you dirty freaking dog. I see that look in your eyes. I know what you're going to do. Don't get too crazy now. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. 